Left! Right! You are so stubborn! I am not! R2! Fee, fi, fo, fo! Stand you still and do not run! Run! Shut your mouth! Give us your money! <laughs> we haven't got any money. What are you? Yes. What are you? I am a fierce and terrible giant! <clears throat> uh, what? Aren't you a little short to be a giant? Me, fi, fo, fum! Talk you not, for you are. Hey! That's not very nice. You're not very nice! And too, are not! You don't think I'm really a giant! Well, you are considerably shorter than most of the giants I know. So I'm shorter! So what? Does that mean I'm not really a giant just because I'm a little bit vertically challenged? Fo, fum, fi, fi! Now you made my sister cry! <laughs> Maybe you could tell us more about giants. No! Are you hungry? We have some lunch. We'd be happy to share. Fo, fum, fi, fi. One for her and one for me. What about us? We're hungry too. Fo, fum, fi, fi. One for her and one for me. Fine. Give them your lunch, Angelica. Fine. You know how totally ridiculous it is that we are being waylaid by giants on our path to finding our fortune. If we went the way I wanted to go... Oh, please. Be fine, fo, fum. How you two do flap your gums? Huh? You need to talk too much. Do not. Quiet. Ugh. So, you two are finding your fortune? Yes, we are restoring our family's ruined fortune. Any luck? Not a bit. Did you have to find your fortune? No. Our mom tells us what to do. Which is? We are all people on the highway. That's awful! It's the family business! Be fine! Go, go! You in trouble! Here comes mom! Look what I found! <laughs> How'd this one get past you kids? Sleeping on the job. Again? No, mother, no! Be fine! Stop go. that nonsense! Can't stand any more of that be fi foeing Mama, we've been working hard! Look what we got! They don't look like much. They got money? No. But they had lunch! Fi, fi, fo, fum! In my belly, yum, yum, yum! <laughs> but no money? We don't have any money! We are seeking our fortune. <laughs> Me too. I'm Henry. Adriana. Angelica. Very nice to meet you. Uh, I'm Og. Og? What a very sync name. And this is my brother, Smog. Hello, Smog. That is quite enough of that. This is not how I taught you kids to behave. I know, Mother, but the truth is, if you must know, Smug and I don't much like stealing. A very gentlemanly feeling. Watch your mouth, you. A very gentle, giantly feeling. You really are very nice giants, aren't you? We try. Totally useless. Totally useless. I wouldn't say that. I think there's many things that which a giant would do very well. They are tall, so they can reach high things. And strong, so they can lift heavy things. I'd imagine there's a whole list of things at which a giant could excel. If you wait just a moment, I'll compile one. I trained you two to be thieves. I know, Mama, but we're just not very good as thieves. They'd be a guard. And what am I supposed to do with you two big lumbering lunks? Well, Mother Giant, perhaps it may be time for them to go out and seek their own fortunes. That's what, that's what we are doing. How's it going for you? Not particularly well at the moment. I remember seeing something. A whole list of help wanted advertisements in the newspaper. Where? Here. Let me oh. see. Give it to me. I want to see. Enough. Give it. Hmm. Pig farmer. I won't have any child to buy mucking up pigs. Hmm. Wanted. A reliable worker to polish the 437 telescope lenses at the Royal Observatory. Bad chance. Telescopes? Royal Observatory? Where's that one? Right here. Not for my kids, they break things. You can see how that would be a problem. <laughs> Wanted. Docent. What's a docent? If you don't know, the job's not for you. It's someone. <laughs> it's someone who gives tours at museums. Which museum? The National Art Gallery. Not for my kids, they steal things. I can see. <laughs> I can definitely see how that would be a problem. Here's a good one. 
looking for strong young creatures to build a causeway. Giants preferred. Ability to lift heavy objects a must. I like the sound of that. Building something with my hands. Leaving the family business, huh? With your blessing, mother. Please, Please mother Lord. giant. I'm sure they'll make you very proud. Oh, get on with you. You can't possibly be worse at building roads than you are at stealing. Thank you, mother! Fee, fi, fo, fum! Look out, fortune, here we go! Yippee! Come on home, kids, I'll pack you some grub before you head out. Goodbye, Smog! Goodbye, all! Goodbye, mother giant! Well, that was an adventure. It was. <laughs> it was very lucky that you happened to have that list of jobs. Yes, I find lists very useful. <laughs> <laughs> it was a pleasure meeting you ladies, but I must get back to finding my fortune. Me too. Goodbye and good luck. And to you. Did you see? There's a job at the National Gallery. Let's go check it out. But there's a job with telescopes. Doesn't that sound like more fun? No. I don't want to work in a museum. I don't want to work in an observatory. We could split up, go alone. You are very brave, Angelica. I know you can do this. And you are fearless, Adriana. But I will miss you. I will miss you. Oh! Oh! <laughs> the prince, with no fixed destination in mind, wandered aimlessly. He had failed every task on his list. He had not killed a troll. He had not rescued a damsel in distress. He had not bested a giant. And it seemed equally as unlikely that he would vanquish a dragon. The prince sighed. <sighs> and walked. And walked. And sighed. <sighs> Until, as luck would have it, he arrived back at the door of the little house where six sisters had to share a long attic bedroom. <laughs> It's you! Let me get you up! No, a... no, no harm done. Ugh, twice. This is a very bad habit. Really? I don't normally throw dirt on perfect strangers. But we're not perfect strangers. We met yesterday. When I threw dirt on you. And now we've met again today. When I threw dirt on you again. Did you? I don't mind. You're very kind. I mean, I don't usually approve of having dirt thrown on me, but I don't seem to mind when you do it. Oh. Would you like a cup of tea? Yes, I'm famished. Doesn't your mother feed you breakfast? I haven't got a mother. Oh, I'm sorry. I won't be a moment. <coughs> Here you are. Hot tea and fresh bread. Oh, a veritable feast. Have you had any success finding your fortune? None. In fact, I'm failing miserably. Maybe I'm going about it all wrong, or... Maybe it's not fortune-finding season, though I did find my list right here. Oh. Kill a troll. I've never met a troll. I met one yesterday. It turns out they keep our bridges in repair. I couldn't very well kill him. Now I'm paying him. Rescue a damsel in distress? There are not nearly as many damsels in distress just littered about as I was led to believe. <laughs> but there must be some. Maybe. I met a girl crying yesterday and gave her my handkerchief, but that doesn't count as rescuing. Rescuing involves sword play and lots of posturing, and usually kissing at the end, which I find very premature, but <laughs> that's how it's done in all the books, so. <laughs> Best a giant. Really? I met two, and we didn't even fight. In fact, I helped them give up crime and seek jobs. I'll tell you, this entire fortune-finding thing has been a complete bust. I don't know. Pardon? I don't know if it's been a complete failure. You will have to explain that. Well, you didn't kill a troll, but you secured the safety of our bridges and took care of the worker who was keeping our bridges safe. I hadn't quite thought of it like that. Why do you have to pay I him? made sure he was paid. I took his case to the, um, proper authorities. Ah. You gave up your adventuring and fortune-seeking to help someone who was unhappy. 
Any gentleman would do the same. But not every gentleman does. And you convince two fearsome giants to give up a life of crime and seek honest work. I had help. Really, it was no big deal. You've proven yourself to be wise and kind and clever. That is much more fortunate than most. Thank you, my lady. You are very, very kind. It's the least I could do after throwing dirt on you twice in two days. <laughs> Don't mention it. Are you still hungry? No. Thank you, my lady. Only one more task left on your list. Vanquish a dragon. I don't suppose you've seen any dragons lying about, have you? Only in books. Well, thank you, my lady, for your gracious hospitality. I hope to return the favor. And I hope you find your dragon. It is only fair to tell you that the prince was smitten. He had never met anyone quite like thee. She made him feel brave and kind and clever. Or rather, she made him wish to be brave and kind and clever. Which is more practical than merely feeling brave, kind and clever, as it inspired him to action and good deeds, rather than puffing him up with his own importance. With a renewed sense of purpose and a mind open to new possibilities, the prince ventured out to find his dragon. In another part of the forest, Annabella wandered, wondering what exactly was the point of all this adventuring. What exactly is the point of all this adventuring? I'm cold, hungry, and lonely, and I don't seem to be any closer to finding my fortune. And like so many adventurers before her, she was wrong. For just as she was about to give up all hope, lo and behold. <gasps> oh, oh, oh! Aren't you the cutest? You're just a baby, aren't you? Oh, what's wrong? Are you hurt? Oh, you poor thing. Let me see. Oh, you poor thing, someone's hurt you. Don't be afraid, I won't hurt you. Please show me. Oh, you poor baby. Just wait till my sisters meet you. You can have Anthea's bed and you can eat Angelica for a midnight snack. <laughs> Just kidding, there will be no eating people, understand? Okay. Stand back, my lady, and I will slay this vile beast. No. What? I will not. Move away, I have to accomplish one thing on my list. What? Move away from the dragon. Have you taken leave of your senses? Me? Step away from the dragon. I will not. That thing will eat you or roast you, or roast you and eat you. This thing is a baby, and she's been hurt. So? So I plan to nurse her back to health. Now put that sword away, you're scaring her. I'm scaring her? Her? Yes, it's a baby girl dragon. Well, that makes things complicated. <laughs> How? I've never fought a girl before. And you aren't going to fight this one either. No. No. She's coming home with me. What? She's little. I'll find room for her. She'll get bigger. I'll solve that problem later. Right now, she needs rest and care. Look at her. So sweet. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking. No, look. Really look. Look at her eyes. Oh. Yeah. Come on. Pet her head. <laughs> I'd rather not. <laughs> she loves it. I don't think she likes me. I don't, she, she doesn't like me. Move slowly. Be calm. Be calm. Don't worry about the fire-breathing monster. She is not a monster. She's a dragon. Dragon. See? Not so scary. What do you plan to do with her? I told you. You can't keep her at your house. But I have nowhere else to take her, no. and she needs help. She does. I have a friend at the Royal Zoo who would be happy to care for her until she's recovered. But no! I want to help her. I'm sure my friend would be happy to hire you as a dragon care specialist. You mean pay me? You can take care of the dragon, can't you? I've read everything there is to know about dragons. Everything. Well, then that should be fine. Please. I'll tell you, this whole quest has not gone to plan. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm supposed to be finding my fortune. I have a list. I have accomplished exactly none of my list. I'm supposed to be finding my fortune, too. I found a dragon to care for instead. Maybe whatever it was I thought I was looking for when I began to seek my fortune 
was just not to be found. We'll never find our fortunes? Well, since I didn't know what my fortune was to begin with, perhaps I found it already and didn't know it. Or maybe you just missed it and you'll never find it now. Aren't you already a sunshine? <laughs> Sorry, bad habit. I hope you found your fortune. I hope you found yours. Shall we go? Will the dragon follow? Probably not. Come on, dragon. Come on. It's a good dragon. Come on. I have a sandwich. That's a good idea. Come on. Come on, baby. Come, Come get on. the sandwich. <laughs> All five girls had failed to find their fortunes, but each was happy. The prince had failed every task on his list. But he had learned a great deal about the world, had made a few friends, and had, on the whole, a rather remarkable adventure. Father, I have failed every task on my list, but I have learned much. I have made many new friends, and I've had a remarkable adventure. Wonderful. And have you found your fortune? I have not found a fortune, Father, no. That's not what I asked. I don't know if I found my fortune, Father. Then what have you learned? I've learned that people will surprise you if you let them. That many people just need a little help if you look for them. That even the very worst deserve a second chance. And that kindness really is more valuable than a crown. To have learned so much, you are very fortunate, and I am pleased. Thank you, Father. Also, there is a girl. Aha! A girl! Finally! I'm gonna be a grandfather! Father! I'm sorry! I'm sorry. I just couldn't imagine any woman willing to put up with you and your interminable lists. Thank you, Father. No, no, I'm, I'm sorry. Invite her to the palace. Really? Yes, invite her to the palace and then ask her to marry you. You do know I've only met her twice. Plenty of time. <laughs> just like that? Just like that. It's how it's done. Well, <laughs> I, I appreciate it, Father, but I think there's a few more matters I should tend to first. Like a dragon at the zoo. The what? A dragon. I haven't seen a dragon since I was a boy. Wonderful. Across the town, life at the little house finally settled down into something like a rhythm. There wasn't enough money for a new house. Or an endless supply of new dresses. Or a library of books. There is plenty to eat. New clothes when necessary. And one new book a week. No one had found a fortune, but, but each, each one, one felt fortunate. fortunate. And so life continued, happy and content, in the little house where the six sisters shared one long attic bedroom. Until one fine day it happened, as it so often does in stories, and in life, that news of a momentous and life-changing nature arrived. I've been summoned to the palace! What? what? The day after tomorrow, your presence and the presence of your family is requested at the royal palace at 9.30 in the morning for an audience with His Royal Highness Prince Henry Reginald Alexander Copernicus III. We're going to the palace! <laughs> girls, girls, what shall we wear? And I have no time to have my hair done. Peace, mother. <laughs> peace, mother, peace. I'm sure the king doesn't expect us to arrive in fancy court gowns. Not you, surely. <laughs> Don't worry, mother, we will think of something. Perhaps it was a slice of luck. Or more likely, wise fiscal planning. But having secured paying jobs and having lived below their means, each of the, sis each of the sister sisters had a little something left over. And if the dresses they bought were not completely new, they were repaired and embellished with love and care. So I think that it is safe to say that when they were presented at the palace, none of the sisters had anything to be ashamed of. I want flowers. Flowers everywhere. Flowers. And music. <laughs> music. And of course, food. <laughs> food. Of course. No. Father, Father, please sit here and try not to scowl. I do not scowl. <laughs> Forgive me, Father. Sometimes you do, and it frightens people. I will try to, s to smile. <laughs> you know what? Don't do that either. That, yeah. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Who refuses a prince? She might. She's not like other women. I could always order her to marry you. No, thank you, Father, though I'm sure you mean well. Your choice, of course, but... No, thank you, Father, but 
I'm hoping for better things. That's them! Go! Go! Let them in! Please, Your um, Highness. I'll stand. Here? No, no, no. Here? Here. Be calm. <laughs> calm. Nonchalant. Presenting a lady bee and family. Why, hello! What are you doing here? I live here. Oh, it must take simply forever to clean. I believe it does. You don't clean it? I do not, no. Then what do you do here? Well, live. My father is the king. Oh, your highness, please forgive me. What are you doing? Don't, don't do that. I didn't recognize you. Why should you? Aren't you on the money? Well, yes, <laughs> but who has any of that? Besides which, my father is on most of the money, and I look nothing like my father. <laughs> please, please, get up, please. You asked me to come. Why? Well, I wanted you and your family to meet my father. Yes. Why? Well, because you are simply the most amazing woman I have ever met. Me? Oh, your highness, you should meet my sisters. They are far more amazing than I. Beautiful, clever, loyal. May I introduce them to you? Of course, and your parents if they were able to come. We are all here. Being summoned to the palace is rather a momentous occasion. A good momentous? I hope so. You aren't planning on throwing us into the dungeon, or beheading us, or feeding us to wild beasts? No, no. Where do people get these wild ideas? <laughs> no! I do not plan to do any of that. Then may I present to you my mother and father. Mother, father, his royal highness. Your highness. I'm very pleased you could come. Please, over here. And may I present my five wonderful sisters. Anthea, Angelica, Adelina, Adriana, and Annabella. <gasps> it's you! Your, Your Highness! I was trying to think of what you did and that turned out to be Sisters! This is the brave troll fighter I met on the bridge. I still have your handkerchief. Now I know where to return it. You <laughs> helped with the giants. And bested a dragon. How do you How do know him? His Highness came for tea. I did, twice. And I haven't been able to stop thinking of you since. Oh, really? That's <laughs> nice. Dearest B, will you marry me? Um, I don't think so. Thank you, Grace. <laughs> but I like you. And I like you. But we only just met. A time we think's too short to make a world without end bargain in. What? It's Shakespeare. I like Shakespeare. Me too. That's something we have in common. Yes but an insufficient basis for a lifelong relationship. I think so. Are you refusing the crown prince and future king? Very respectfully, I am your majesty. I could always order you to marry him. You could try, your majesty, but I have five very intelligent sisters, and I am confident that between them, they know everything. I am sure they could concoct a plan to thwart you. <laughs> five girls, bah. Five girls who between them have braved trolls, dragons, and giants? It's true, father. And I have a mother and father who love me. Surely, King, as a father who loves his son, you wouldn't do such an injustice to another father. I want my son to be happy. Of course you do, your majesty. Every father wants his child to be happy. He will be happy if you agree to be his wife. He may be happy if I agree to be his wife. But that he will continue to be happy were I to become his wife is yet to be seen. I think some more time is needed to decide that question. I, for one, Father, am willing to invest the time to investigate such a question. And I, for two. That's two things we have in common. I'll start a list. <laughs> I find them a trifle terrifying. Then I'll start two lists. <laughs> things we have in common, things we do not have in common does not like lists. See? Very tidy. Well, <laughs> since you won't marry me, will you and your family at least join my family for lunch? With pleasure. So B and the Prince led their respective families to dinner. The end. <gasps> what? Uh, I suppose that can't be the end. No!
Since I suppose you will go away unsatisfied if we do not tell you. In due time. After much discussion. And a few arguments. And plentiful laughter. And a few tears. After serious consideration. And with approval of both households. Being the prince decided that, on the whole, it would be rather a good idea if they were married. And, and so, so they, they were. were. And with qualified and intelligent persons filling the roles of. Royal philosopher. Director of the National Arts Gallery. Head of the Royal Academy of Astronomy and Astrophysics. Manager of the Royal Parks and Gardens. And Supervisor of Animal Rehabilitation at the Royal Zoo. And, and with, with a kind and loyal queen. And a just and wise king. The five. The, the six. six. The six intelligent sisters, their mother and father, the prince, the king, and indeed the kingdom, had as much hope of living happily ever after as is humanly possible. The, the end. end. I'm <laughs> 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 